ABC 26 Precision Forecast Center. Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. After afternoon temperatures only in the teens yesterday, we warm back up into the 20s today and overall we've got that warmer weather sticking around here for the next seven days. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow once again will be in the 20s. Then it looks like a mixture of upper 20s and lower 30s for Friday, Saturday and Sunday and then even warmer. For next week, as we get ready to wrap up February, high temperatures will be in the 30s. Right now, we have a mixture of teens and 20s across the area. 19 degrees in Sturgeon Bay, 18 in Chilton, 19 in Watoma. It is currently 20 degrees in Crivets. We had a lot of sunshine across the area today, almost 100% possible sunshine. Just in the last hour or so, some high clouds have started to stream in from the west. 22 degrees in Green Bay, the wind chill is 13. It is 20 in Appleton with a wind chill of 9 and a northwest wind at around 10 miles per hour. High pressure in control of Wisconsin's weather today. Clear skies pretty much all day long, but you can see some high clouds now beginning to work in from the south and west. Those clouds are thickening up across parts of Iowa, and those clouds are producing some snow across Nebraska, Kansas, and Missouri this evening. And that is our next big weather maker. Take a look at this storm. It is covering a lot of territory. We've got winter weather advisories already into the southern part of the NBC 26 viewing area, and then you have a winter storm warning for just about all of Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, and Nebraska. This is going to be a huge storm as it pulls out of the Rockies tonight into tomorrow. There's going to be some very heavy snow with it across Iowa, northern Missouri, Nebraska, and Kansas, especially across Kansas, where one to two feet of snow is likely with this big storm. Storm. Precision cast shows mostly clear skies tonight, just a few high clouds drifting through from time to time. Tomorrow morning, sunshine mixing with some high clouds. Then we'll see some late clouds move in during the late morning and early afternoon. Then we'll see more clouds coming in from that system as we head into the afternoon and evening. And then eventually we'll see snow. In fact, Friday looks to be a snowy day across the entire state. Generally, a three to six to four to seven inch uh, snowfall across the Badger State, specifically for us here in North. Northeast Wisconsin. I'm thinking right now about three to six inches with most of us probably right around four or five inches. So your forecast for tonight calls for fair skies. Overnight lows will be near zero. Tomorrow morning sun and clouds. Then the clouds will win out. Temperatures will be climbing up into the 20s on Friday. It's going to be snowy and breezy. We're going to have blowing snow, slippery uh, conditions out there for traveling. High temperatures will be in the upper 20s to lower 30s. That big storm weakens as it moves over Wisconsin on Saturday, but still close enough to produce some light snow and or flurries, maybe some minor additional accumulations. On Sunday, high pressure builds in, mostly sunny. Look for a high temperature right around 30, and then we'll watch our next bigger storm move in as we head into early next week. Monday, thickening clouds, maybe a mixture Monday evening after sunset. That quickly goes over to all snow by Tuesday. Once again, we're talking about the threat of accumulating snow. That will then linger into Wednesday with maybe some more accumulations and a northeast wind off of Lake Michigan, which means we could see a little bit of lake enhancement as well. We are in a very active pattern right now, accumulating snow every couple of days. Yeah, what are you thinking? Are you all snowed out yet, or would you like some more? I would like some more. Yeah. It's only February, and we're heading into March, which has the craziest weather of the entire year here in northeast Wisconsin, and often the biggest snowstorms of the entire year. Yeah, you never know what will happen in March. Huh? <laughs> Just about everything. Yeah, we'll see. All right, thank you so much, Cameron. <laughs> okay. Now let's take a look at what you'll see tonight at 6 o'clock. Stacey Ingebretson.